Ever wonder why so many people work tirelessly yet never achieve true wealth? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're diving into a complex but crucial topic, the poverty mindset. Did you know that nearly 80% of lottery winners end up broke or in debt within just a few years of winning their jackpot? Without breaking free from the poverty mindset, financial success becomes an uphill battle for anyone, regardless of income level. Let's dive in. A little background here. I wasn't raised in poverty. We were lower middle class. My dad was a high school chemistry teacher and my mom worked as a receptionist. They were caught in the poverty mindset, which they never really broke out of. My parents didn't teach me anything about personal finance. The only thing I ever heard was, we can't afford that, or that's too expensive, put it back. A key element of growing up poor is that we become conditioned to think poor. It's not just about lacking money, it's about how you perceive your financial situation. We're often programmed from birth with a poverty mindset, we can't afford this, or we can't do that. This mindset traps you in a cycle that's hard to escape. Having the right mindset is just as crucial as taking action. A Stanford study with 12,000 ninth graders showed that those who learned about the growth mindset earned significantly higher grades than those who didn't get that lesson. This highlights the powerful impact of mindset on academic performance and personal growth. But don't just try and think your way out of the poverty mindset. You need action too. You need to take the appropriate steps to achieve your goal. Many of us were programmed with a poverty mindset from birth, a way of thinking that aligns with scarcity and fear, making it harder to attain and maintain wealth. The poverty mindset convinces you that your circumstances will never improve, trapping you in a never-ending cycle. Think back to when you were a kid. How many times did you hear your parents say, we can't afford it, we can't do that, we can't go there. While sometimes reasonable, these phrases often become a default that stifles creative thinking. By saying it to yourself, there's no alternative path. Your brain goes into defeat mode, and once you think you are defeated, your chances of breaking out of this mindset are very limited. Beyond our parental upbringing, consider our education system. Our modern educational system is modeled after factory schools. Factory schools were first created during the Industrial Revolution to produce compliant factory workers who did exactly what they were told and listened for the bell to move or go home. We're still using the same exact factory school model today. This outdated system hasn't evolved, leaving many of us and our children ill-equipped for today's economy. I'm not anti-public school by any means. I was raised by a public school teacher. But I do realize this system isn't setting us up to thrive and can be a hindrance to many. How many of us learned about personal finance in school? Likely none. Most of us got our financial education from our parents, and if they weren't good with money, chances are we aren't either. This brings us back to the we can't afford this mindset, which shuts off your mind. But here's the trick to break out of the poverty mindset. It's very simple, but very effective. You can add one word and switch from the poverty mindset to the entrepreneurial mindset. Instead of saying, I can't afford it, ask, how can I afford it? This subtle shift opens up your mind to possibilities, solutions, and opportunities. Don't get me wrong, achieving your goals takes more than just words and thoughts. But if your inner dialogue is constantly saying, I can't afford this, or I'm too poor for that, you're already putting up roadblocks to success. To truly change your circumstances, you've got to start by addressing those self-limiting beliefs. The entrepreneurial mindset is all about shifting your perspective from doubt to belief, unlocking new ways to solve problems and approach challenges. Rather than viewing obstacles as dead ends, this mindset helps you see them as opportunities for innovation and growth. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't about downplaying the hard work ahead. Think of it like preparing for a marathon. 
Imagine an athlete at the starting line thinking, I'm going to lose, or I'm not good enough. Their chances of winning would drop dramatically, right? Just as sports psychology is key to an athlete's success, a positive mindset is critical for financial success too. If you're stuck in negative self-talk or a poverty mindset, turning that around is essential to kickstarting your journey toward financial freedom. Positive thinking paired with an entrepreneurial mindset can fuel long-term success by encouraging continuous learning, resilience, and adaptability. This next point is probably going to sound counterintuitive. Stop viewing yourself as a hard worker, but instead view yourself as a solution provider. When you view yourself as a hard worker, you can be sure your work sees you like a cog in a machine. And unfortunately, they view cogs as replaceable. On the other hand, solution providers are valuable and hard to replace. Show people you are more than just a worker, but have a broad vision, can see obstacles before they arise, and come up with solutions in advance. To escape the poverty mindset and achieve success, become irreplaceable and valuable to your employer. If you have a brilliant business idea, make it happen and ignore anyone who says it's a silly goal, they're likely just another cog stuck in the poverty mindset. You will probably be alone in your quest to break out of the poverty trap, but don't let that stop you. If you can break the mindset, you can, and eventually will, break out of the poverty trap. Stay focused, seek knowledge, shift your mindset, and don't let others hold you back. Remember, belief and mindset are just the start. Your actions must follow. Thanks for tuning in to Empower and Thrive. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay strong and keep thriving.